Hi fellow travelers and it's me your travel angel. In this video, I am taking you on a trip to Palm Springs, California. Well, I lived in Palm Springs for seven months and allow me to share with you places I've seen throughout the valley. I'll give you some Palm Springs, California travel tips and tricks. I'll show you what to do in Palm Springs and this is your Palm Springs, California travel guide. All right, let's go. Hey, welcome back to Angel's Video Diary. Now here's some general information about Palm Springs. The drive to Palm Springs is around two and a half to three hours from Los Angeles. And for us, we're coming from Anaheim. So it's only gonna be an hour and a half drive. So when is the best time to visit Palm Springs? The best time to visit Palm Springs is during the months of fall and winter when the temperatures are mild or comfortable. Well, a few years back, my husband and I, we stayed here for seven months and I recommend you avoid visiting Palm Springs during the summer when temperatures can soar over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But then summer is actually the time when hotel prices go down around here, which is the opposite of most vacation spots in the country. Renting a car is also the best way to get around Palm Springs because public transportation is limited here and taxis can be quite expensive. Okay, so travel tip number one is you should stop by the Flannery Exchange building and have a cup of joe at Cafe La Jefa, which is a modern Latin influenced coffee shop. And the cafe is open daily from 6.30 in the morning until 5 p.m. There's a nice outdoor patio, which is a great spot to do some work. Or if it gets really hot outside, there are plenty of seats and tables available inside. And the Flannery Exchange building also has a variety of shops and boutiques inside. And the place has a lot of Instagram worthy spots. Next, you should also visit the Palm Springs Art Museum, which features art galleries, exhibitions, and collections ranging from modern to contemporary art. The museum is founded in 1938 and is open from Thursday to Sunday. Hours may vary, so make sure to check their website for that. Admission is $16 per person, and there's a parking garage slightly opposite to the museum building, which is free. Make sure to take advantage of their free admission every Thursday night from 5 to 8 p.m. Also, Bank of America members can get in for free. That's going to be every first weekend of the month. And after your visit to the Palm Springs Art Museum, I also recommend that you check out the sculptures outside the museum building. Have a look! Just outside the Palm Springs Art Museum is the Marilyn Monroe statue. So you should definitely snap some photos at the Marilyn Monroe statue, which is called Forever Marilyn and is made out of steel and aluminum. And speaking of Marilyn Monroe, you should watch out for her star, which is gonna be on the sidewalk pavement in the downtown Palm Springs area. These stars are called the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, which pays tribute to the various people who have lived here in the valley. And this is actually similar to the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles, California. And downtown Palm Springs is where you will find a variety of shops and restaurants. So you can go shopping here or have breakfast, lunch, or dinner and enjoy a delicious dessert as well. You can eat at downtown Palm Springs, but I recommend that you try Shields Date Garden, which is 30 minutes drive from downtown Palm Springs. Take note, the restaurant or the cafe is open daily from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. only. And the restaurant offers delicious meals and a little bit of entertainment as well. And by the way, you can explore the garden first while you're waiting to be seated. And the garden has a biblical themed sculptures as well. Now here comes the food. So we always get the Shield Signature Date Burger. It has bacon, melted blue cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and of course, dates, which makes the burger taste so good. And I also recommend that you try a date shake. 
Shield State Garden has a store or a gift shop where they sell delicious date shakes if you don't want to eat at the cafe. Although you can order a date shake at the cafe too if you want. And of course, date shakes can be found at several places in Palm Springs. So what's a date shake? Well, it is typically made by blending dates and ice cream, or it could be frozen yogurt and maybe milk as well. Now, by mixing all those ingredients, you get a rich, creamy texture with a sweet caramel-like flavor. Now, you know you're in Palm Springs if you see all these wind turbines. Make sure to stop by and check out the Palm Springs windmills and take lots of pictures. Why are there so many wind turbines or windmills in Palm Springs? To make it short and simple, the answer is because of the valley's heat and wind. These turbines typically need wind speeds of about 10 miles per hour to start generating. And next, you should also visit the Face Arkowski Sculpture Garden, which features sculptures surrounded by various plants or desert plants. And we recently visited it for the first time. It's a peaceful garden where you can sit, relax, or simply enjoy the views. The Face Arkowski Sculpture Garden is open every day from sunrise to sunset. If you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. Now, if you love visiting botanical gardens, then you should definitely stop by Morton Botanical Garden. It is open daily, except Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And free street parking is available outside the garden and admission is $5 per person. Morton Botanical Garden features stunning succulents, cacti, or other desert plants. Make sure to go inside the greenhouse to see more beautiful desert plants. And I don't recommend visiting this place during summer because it's going to be extremely hot. Spring or fall are the best times to go here. Of course, don't forget to bring home a plant or a succulent as well. And there's also another garden that you can visit that's near Palm Springs and it's so beautiful. And I'm talking about the Sunnyland Center and Gardens. Their hours of operation is from Wednesday to Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's no admission fee and parking is also free. You don't actually need a ticket or reservation to explore the garden. Unfortunately, pets are not allowed here. And they also offer a guided and house tour if you want to take a look inside the historic home. Although that tour is something you have to pay and make a reservation for. You know, it's usually hard to book a tour. So I recommend you purchase your tickets in advance and it's quite pricey as well. And just so you know, the house tour is at a different location, which is going to be a few minutes from the garden. The the garden is peaceful and tranquil, a perfect way to experience a relaxing and calm filled day. Next stop is the Palm Springs City Hall, and it's actually one of the best spots to take souvenir photos here in Palm Springs. The design of the building is simple and modern, and take a look at that. It's just Instagram worthy. Let's say you have limited time to explore Palm Springs. Well, I recommend that you stop by and check out the Palm Springs sign. And this is a great spot to get souvenir photos here in Palm Springs. And it is right next to the visitor center. There are palm trees. You have that nice background of the mountains. And there's a small garden here as well. And it's just picture perfect. And now let's head over to the Cabazon Dinosaurs, which is one of the most iconic roadside attraction that's near Palm Springs. And you know, I'll never get tired of visiting this place. The Cabazon Dinosaurs is around 20 minutes from downtown Palm Springs. So if you have time, you can make a quick stop here to snap some photos and meet Mr. Rex and Dinny. Or you can choose to go inside and see more dinosaurs. It is open daily and entrance fee is going to be $13 per person. And there are shopping centers near Palm Springs. So you can go shopping at the Cabazon or Desert Hills outlets. And they're right next to each other. So it's going to be easy to find both. You can simply stroll around here and enjoy stunning desert and mountain views. Now, I recommend that you visit the Palm Springs Air Museum if you're into aviation or even if you're not. 
you'll surely enjoy your visit here at this museum. It is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and admission is $22 per person. They have a great collection of legendary warbirds from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam War. Plus, the museum is pet friendly, so it's gonna be a fun trip for the whole family. And you can also check out the Palm Springs Visitor Center to get brochures or maybe information that you need to explore Palm Springs. Plus, you can buy some souvenir items inside. And you can also check out the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, which is the largest rotating tram car in the world and is a must-visit attraction in Palm Springs. Now, admission here is $29.95 per person, and they recommend that you buy your tickets online to avoid the lines at the tram. There's a parking fee of $6 per private vehicle, and you also have to ride a shuttle from the parking lot, which is only going to be a short ride to the tram. Now, the ride ride takes about 10 to 15 minutes and will take you to the Mount San Jacinto State Park. We wanted to visit Cabot's Pueblo Museum, but we didn't make it there on time. Cabot's Pueblo Museum is a 5,000 square foot hoppy style pueblo built by Cabot Yersa. The museum features Yersa's artwork, artifacts, and the unique architectural style of the building. So the museum is open daily from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays they open at 12. Entrance is $5 per adult and that's just walking outside the pueblo. But if you want a tour and go inside the pueblo, it's going to be $13 per person. And one of the most unique places that you can visit that's near Palm Springs is the Joshua Tree National Park. The park is open daily from sunrise to sunset and admission is $30 per private vehicle. But you can also buy an annual pass for $80, which you can use for a year at any national park across the country. This experience will allow you to see the unique features of a Joshua Tree as well as other desert plants in the area. And don't forget to stop by and check out the Choya Cactus Garden and other rock formations around the park. And by the way, prepare to do a lot of hiking here. So be sure to wear sturdy and comfy shoes or you can wear hiking boots if you have one. I also recommend that you check their website first for trail conditions, changes in schedule, and weather conditions as well. I hope I was able to inspire you to visit Palm Springs, California. Now, if you have any questions, maybe you have suggestions, make sure to drop a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, um, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. And you can stay current on my travels. Follow me on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.